All right, so here we are on the farm. I'm gonna give y'all a, a full tour a little later, but I hear the guys doing some work. So I'm gonna head down there um, so we could catch them in action. So all back there, all back there, you can't really, well, you can't really see from the camera, but all the way back there, that's the land. All down there, that's the land. Um, and as you see them set up there, that's their stuff. Them fellas putting in work, so you're going to see what's happening right now. A good amount of uh, progress since I last been here. And you're going to see. Yes, sir. How you doing? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Where's Jeff? Yeah. Okay. So last time we were here, all these trees were up. And now it's down. Yes. So when I was last here, trees. Trees, nothing but trees. Nothing but trees. Jeff. Wagwan, brother. Yeah, you can't let that get away. You on this side? Them fellas on them are cutting. Bro, you yeah. Take a video yeah, right? yeah, for sure. I got. Well, I'm gonna pass back and just yeah. um, get a little bit more. Yeah. But, bro, I'm I'm impressed, man. Yeah. That's right. So, like I told y'all. Because, bro, once I posted it, everyone was like, man, sh start showing what's going on behind the scenes. Yeah. So, look, shout out to my guy, Jeff. Yeah. Because I just came up from the town, and my bro right here, um, we bumped into each other. We know each other from New York, but we bumped into each other um, in town here in Grenada. Yeah. And we started to talk. And he's like, bro, get up there. You know, they got this grant loan we didn't get well i didn't get through with it or anything Me but neither. Yeah, you either but we did, we're just like yo let's start and do what we can do right and needless to say a few months later operation feed the nation <laughs> is in full effect in full effect so um i'm gonna like continue bringing y'all step by step and jeff is really running the operations on the ground here for real for real yes, so all the daily operations like these guys up here cleaning this stuff out i'll show y'all the before video nothing but bush <laughs> right nothing but trees and tall grass and everything so as y'all see it now i'm seeing it for the first time now too i don't know we may have to um Allowed roads. Uh -huh. There's an eight foot allowed road right here, and on the other side of the mangrove rope or the windbreak. 
Yeah. There is another eight foot. Actually, sorry, it's a twelve foot allowed road. Okay. So we just gotta be. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Oh, I don't know the process, but at least ask. Yeah. That's the best way to. Man, bro, this is the view though. Priceless. Man. Come over on this side. This is a good view, both in, well, yeah. in every direction. In every look direction. It. Look at it that way. We got quite the view here. Quite the view, bro. So y'all see all the houses over there on the hills. Got the ocean in the back there. That's the Atlantic. There you go. Coconut trees. We have sour sap. So all down there. Peppers, uh -huh. peppers, sweet peppers. We're gonna try to put down at least 2,000 sweet peppers. A good thing for the ground as well is like burning, burning the ground. So if there is any mites, any little, it will, it will, get, them it will get them out of there. And then it's also the ashes is good for the for the crops as well. So it's it's like a two way. It's, it's, it's like beneficial a two way, yeah, and, and beneficial yeah. fishery in two ways. Where you can kill the little mites where we can't see, so we could hardly use pesticide, and then it's uh, all organic. That's what we aim in. That's yes, what, that's uh, we aim in all organic, because what we have, we have a cow pole. We intend to put like the cow manure, because that's in very, the hole. very great fertilizer. Yes, the the cow manure in the hole instead of having to put the the pesticide, chemical yeah. and all that. We do have to spray. Um, not chemical pesticide, pesticide yeah. but we're gonna make a neem there is a couple neem trees down there I'm gonna get a neem pods and use coconut oil and boil the neem pods boil the neem pods in the coconut in the coconut oil because the pests don't like the, the pests don't like the neem so we're gonna do that and then and then um, Someone trying to come inside? Oh shoot, okay. Alright, let's do it. Alright, showing people what's going on, bro. So this is the farmer's market in Grenville. In Grenville. They have one in town too. Potatoes. And everything. Everything. Right now we're going and get um, the farmer's ID with that letter and then all concessions and all farmer's privilege will be yours, Mr. Nice John, yep, that's once it. we get that taken care of. And then um, jaywalking is okay in Grenada, yes. right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we're taking care of this today and um, we're heading, we're heading hey. to the spot to get that to get that that farmer's ID right now and then business will be done back to the garden again and you know how we do there we go yeah yeah 
It's not mango tree they can take it. So these this sour this is a tall one, right? Yeah. The reason why the reason why they get tall, they don't have the light. They don't have the light mm -hmm. and the, the first air, so they gotta go up to grab the light. Facts. Right? Yeah. See there is there's yep. sauce up on the trees. Yep. They haven't the guys haven't passed collected yet. <laughs> man. <laughs> yet, right, and we're gonna stop that man. We gotta stop that man. We gotta have some cameras up here. Yeah. All these trees in the middle here, I want the guy to come and cut. Like I told him that I was gonna give him an evening job. Come and cut all these trees in the middle. And then uh, we're gonna fill up in here with pumpkin. Pumpkin from here all the way to the top up there. And from here down, we're gonna do the sweet peppers. Man, this is, this is looking, look at, oh, look at that. Yeah, man. We got this ready. Yeah. We almost there. Almost there. Almost there. A lot closer than, <laughs> than a we couple were before. Yeah. 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 So all this right here, for the record, guys, this was trees. This was just bush. Bush. There were you can't like how we seen it clear. There was just trees. Yeah, you couldn't get in there. Thick bushes, so you couldn't even walk back there. We did go back there. Yeah. You know, a little bit navigate back, but navigate to see where the boundary. Exactly. Were. But yeah. now, you can actually see, and this is not even. This is a tiny piece of well, everything that is. Well, um, this is this is basically this is a quarter, a quarter of an acre, out of five acres. Yes. So this is not even one whole acre. Yeah. It's about a quarter of an acre, out of five acres. And gonna put peppers here. Yeah, we're gonna put peppers here from here down to the boundary, which is the boundary is right there, right by that that dry, dry tree. Thing. Yep. Go across. All the way over there so we're gonna put peppers from this side come all the way over and then from here go back pumpkin. we're gonna put some we're gonna do rung banks and do some pumpkins we're gonna put some drip lines in the pumpkin in the pumpkin stool so like everywhere wouldn't get wet and or maybe we just do something where the sauce of trees can get wet as well because yes the more water they get the, the more, more they, produce. they produce yeah and sour sap, for y'all who don't know, um, well, there's a lot of benefits, but the, the one that is common for, especially like picking up a, uh, awareness in America, is its anti-cancerous um, um, uh, properties that are contained in there. So even the leaf, the leaf, you can make tea, you could literally take the leaf off the tree and boil it. But we're looking to probably, you know, make this into some some tea products, tea, yeah, tea bags, and there's a lot of trees, a lot of, a lot of trees, sour sap trees, yeah, and like I said, way back, we can't even see the, like, you can't even see the end of the, the land from yeah. over here, you can't see it. Oh, you no. definitely can't You need a drone, but, yeah, which I, I oh, I'm gonna, I need to get a drone, you yeah. get some, uh, some aerial footage of, yeah, yeah, but there's a lot, that had we we planned initially a lot and yeah. from that time to now it's a lot has been, been done. done yeah a lot and what i'm learning especially right now and i'm sure jeff can also say the same is you literally just have to start That's like it. farming is expensive don't get me wrong yeah it is but you just have to start. you just have to start you just have to start like the way a lot of things have fallen together what yeah. the, the price you like the cost that we would have to pay we didn't have to pay nearly 
anything close to it or nothing at all. Nothing at all, yeah. And it's just because we started. We would have yeah. never had those opportunities if we didn't. Start. If we didn't start. Yeah, yeah. So shout out to definitely shout out to Jeff because he bounced into me um, at, at KFC. He saw me. He's like, "Yo, bro, I'm here," and I'm What's like, "Yo, you here?" <laughs> and you know, he's like, "I'm." And I, at the time, I actually didn't know that his land, which I showed y'all earlier, is directly next to mine. Like here and he's right there and i'm like wait you right next door yeah and so he's like bro get up there and let's 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 take action yeah. and since then yes, we've been on a we've roll been, we've, we've been, been on, on a roll we've, we've been, been on a roll. roll so we're doing everything in phases yeah um this is phase one phase one phase one there, as i said there, there is five acres here and this is just half an acre that is cleaned up and cleared up and stuff like that uh we had a River and Twine come and take the trees. And for them who don't know, that's um, yeah, that's a rum distillery. That's a rum distillery. So they need the wood. They need the wood to um, light the light the furnace to do whatever they have to do. So they come and take the tree, free of course, and um, which is great because yeah. to cut down all these trees, if you had to pay for it, <laughs> it would be thousands of dollars. Yeah, yeah, tens of thousands <laughs> by the time yeah. like you cut everything down. Everything down, yeah. One tree on average, one tree may be like what three, three, four hundred dollars. Yeah. yeah, and down here was saturated with trees. Yes, a lot of trees. So we cut down the trees. Then we had the guys clean up a little bit. There's still some more cleaning up to do. And then sometime next month or early next month, we're gonna start digging, uh, making furrows and holes and stuff like that, running some pipes, and then we're gonna, yo, I don't know. I just got here. One of my workers, wondering who light the fire. Yeah. Yeah. What do you say? It's running. Fire. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, I didn't even see that. Yeah. It's right, right there. I hear it cracking, but I didn't see. Yeah. Someone light a fire below. And it's dry season. They're not supposed to light without permission. Bro, oh, for real? Mm -hmm. That's not. That's not very wise. No, that's why we didn't really light on the boundary. Yeah. Because we didn't want it to run. Although fire did run to the boundary, but it didn't cross the boundary. Okay. Yeah. We just have these two piles to, to thing again, and then we're gonna run pipes. Next time you may see us, we may have pipes here. Yes. Pipes, and we we'll dig uh, furrows and drains, so water won't stay. Well, we're on a slope already, so water. Yeah. Water won't stay, so ideal. water will stay in the stool yeah. for where we need it, but it won't stay on the land, in the land itself. So that's that's a plus. Yes. That's a big plus. And um yeah. We here. Man. We here, man. We have mangoes, mangoes coming Mang in yep. season. And like I said, y'all seeing it from the beginning. Yeah. The the step by step, y'all asked to see, you know all the process and i'm sh like we gonna show you everything everything yeah everything we're gonna show all you all the problems the overcoming of the problems everything, everything. so y'all see how strenuous the work is yeah. but the outcome the result of being able to really overcome overcome yeah and the benefit of picking the food mm -hmm. that you eat mm -hmm. you know and we're gonna try to do it as organic as, I, we, yeah. as possible and that that is that is our main thing because hey, this is going in our body too. It's going in our body, <laughs> you know? so, so we're gonna try to do it as uh, as much as as best as we can, organic as possible. Because at the end of the day, it is a business. Yeah, we have to be able to turn a profit, but at the same time, health is the objective. It's our, yeah, that's the objective. It's yeah. Operation Feed the Nation. Yeah, you know uh, yeah. that, and we got to stand by that. You know, and yeah. and my farm name, uh, Earth could come. We could put it together. My farm name is Spice Bucket Farm. All right? Like Spice like that. Bucket Farm. I like yeah. that. So I like that. What y'all think? What y'all think? We can, we, can, yeah. we, we can make it plural. <laughs> I agree. We can I make agree. it plural. <laughs> Spice Bucket Farms. Sax. I like that. I like that. Yeah, and we I, can make it plural. What y'all think about that yeah, name? I, I like it. Bucket. Vote it. Vote it. Yeah, what should we think? Yeah. And if you got any suggestions, uh, any I like that one, so I'm going with that one. Yeah. But if y'all got suggestions, it yeah. gotta be something good. It gotta be something that competes Some, with yeah, that. You yeah. feel me? Something that we like. Something that's that's really good. 
and then we're gonna we're gonna put it out there yep so yeah. when you see all the products and everything and you know we're gonna be you see our logo spice bucket farms you're gonna see it you're gonna see it trust me you're gonna see it it's in the making yeah man so we have mangoes we have we have we have a lot of natural stuff we have citrus we have uh mangoes that's coming in we have more mangoes down there we have some sour suppers oranges we have oranges most grapefruit that way, grapefruit and the more you go in the more you'll see the more you'll see what's going on in here there's a lot going on coconut as you can see coconut. a lot of coconut a lot, a lot of coconut 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 oil is very very oh yes coconut very oil. very good yep very good and we'll show you the process of those stuff being made as well so yeah. seeing the process of making each of the products that are being made any sour sap teas you know we we gonna share all the secrets why the because secrets. look that the, what we working on and what we doing we own this is the we're standing on our land right so right. at the end of the day right it's always going to produce you can't like you can't compete with you can't compete you know, and when I say can't compete, everyone has to eat. So there's not even enough farms to feed people. Yeah. yeah. So there's no, it's not like an oversaturated, and however people can learn and see, people are going to be able to do the same thing, make their money, uh, provide for their families, provide for their nations, health. whatever, health. you know, for the health. health. And we, we rather, we have, rather have healthier friends than, than a fat pocket. Yeah, facts. We healthier have, friends than yeah. wealthier friends, you know, yeah. healthier. Yeah. And fortunately, through the land, that's how we're creating wealth, and that's just, and creating it by planting healthy, organic basically, foods. Yeah, basically going back to the old days. You know, in the old days when we used to have cows, you have cattle, you you make your you make your compost manure and stuff like that. We're gonna be doing all that. So it's like we're gonna be doing the organic stuff instead of going and buy buy fertilizer buy fertilizer that is made in a in a lab we're gonna make our we're own make our own we're gonna have a compost with a cow with a cow with the you know with the with the goats whatever we have with the compost the compost of you know all this bush we're gonna put it on the side all this all this um ash ash all this it's good for the land it's good for the farm it's good for the ground it burns it it, it it burns out all the pests that's in the area and then it, it leave ash there is a there is a a, a um, fertilizer named port ash it's just chemical it's, it's like a lab ash but you can make your ashes yourself and put it in the put it in the hole put and there and you see it right here yeah put your ashes in the hole put your put your manure in the hole and and watch your crop do miracles you don't need miracle grow <laughs> we got it <laughs> you got it right here yeah compost manure and ashes that's all you need that's all you need buddy and y'all gonna see it like i said man this view is beautiful man it is i've it not is. seen this like i didn't realize there was a view <laughs> like i really didn't this is this is an ocean view yeah, yeah. basically you you can show them here. The whole land was like like this. this. That you see that the, bush, the whole that big like thick this. tree. That's why you couldn't see anything. You like at this coconut tree. It was we couldn't even we didn't couldn't even know see there the was coconut a tree, tree there. there. There were yeah, trees were just and bushes were everywhere. just scattered all here. Yeah. But the process, trust the process. Yep. So that's all you got to do. Trust the process and stick to your plan. That's it. Trust the process and stick to your plan. And y'all see it. So, gonna keep y'all updated. This is just, like I said, phase one, cleaning up here, cleaning up here, phase one. Mm -hmm.